What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, I'm going to show you something rather useful with OBS Studio. So as you probably know, I use OBS to record, and in a lot of my videos, you can see it down in my start bar over here. It's not usually that much of an issue as there are tons of other icons down there. But of course, if you don't want it showing up in your start bar, you'll probably want to know how to hide it. How exactly do we hide it to something like the system tray down here? Well, it's rather simple because by default, the OBS icon is already here and we can interact with the program as is. So here I have OBS running in portable mode, so I can just run a second copy of it. And as you can see, I have two OBS icons on my start bar. The second one over here is the one that we're going to be interacting with. So first of all, open up OBS, go across to the settings section, then the general tab, and simply scroll down looking for the system tray section. Then simply make sure it's enabled, and we enable always minimize the system tray instead of taskbar. When we hit OK, we'll see two icons on our taskbar down here. If we minimize OBS, you'll see it vanishes off it entirely. And we still have it over here by all of the tray icons on the far right. If we simply click on it once, it'll open up OBS once again. If we start recording and use it as usual, you'll see a little recording icon on OBS Studio down here. And of course, if you'd like to get it back, simply clicking on it, you can head across to Settings, General, and change it so that it minimizes to the normal taskbar as such, the way that it normally does with other programs. If you'd like, you can also get it to start automatically to this hidden mode by checking Minimize the System Tray when started. If you click that, Close OBS and start it up again. It'll flash on your screen for just a second and then disappear down here onto your task tray. And of course, if you'd like to get some extra hiding out of it, you can of course drag it into this little drop down over here and put it with the rest of the icons here so it's simply out of sight. You can of course do this with all of the icons there, leaving your taskbar nice and clean. I of course keep a couple of them there for quick access and I do have a ton of programs running on my PC at the moment ranging all the way from ease of access to a web browser, game clients, antivirus, and more. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.